everyone, welcome back to the channel and on this video I'll be answering a question from one of my subscribers. Uh, he asked me how did I paint the rear tail lights on this WPL C24 pickup truck. This is the WPL C24-1 pickup truck and the answer is very easy, easy to do. So I'm going to show you in this video how I painted this uh, rear tail lights. All right, and the tips that I did to make it look like this. Uh, right there you can see uh, I have three different colors. I have the orange and the red and the clear. Of course the clear I didn't paint it, it's just how it came, the the, the light, the, the piece. So um, that's what I'm gonna be showing you, how to do it, all right? Okay, so let me move this out of the way, this uh, pickup truck. All right, so here's the materials that you're going to need to paint the, the lights. The, the covers, right, of the lights. And the first one is this clear orange HX-26. It's made by Tamiya, okay, and it's transparent orange. Okay, this is the first paint. The second one is this clear red, okay, number X-27, also made by Tamiya. Okay, also transparent uh, red. Both of them, are they're transparent, the paint. Okay, and right there, it got a little bit blurry. And the other thing, you're gonna need a brush. Okay, try to get a fine brush. Okay, okay, the finer you get it, the better it is. Okay, that's the paintbrush. And then you're going to need an X-Acto knife. All right, always be careful when working with the X-Acto knife. All right, the other material you're going to need is the Sharpie, okay right there, black Sharpie. And since there's different sizes, try to get the one with the fine tip, okay? Gotta be a fine tip. And in a, in a minute, you're gonna find out why it needs to be uh, fine, okay? The other material that you're going to need is a ruler. Just any plain ruler is going to work, okay? And the other part, the other piece, that you're going to need is just a simple cardboard. Okay, it doesn't have to be so thick, but as long as, um, okay. Uh, it's a, you know, if you're wondering what is this, it's just, this is just a drawing that my son did. He drew a, a bird right here. <laughs> okay, so it's just a plain uh, uh, piece of cardboard. Okay, all right, and I'm, uh, you, you'll see in a minute why the, the cardboard, okay. And then you're also going to need your, uh, of course your, your your light cover okay all right this one normally um from uh, when you get the uh, rc they uh they normally come clear so that's the reason that um it's good to paint it because you know you want to make it as realistic as possible right okay so so the two paints are just for for uh to paint the orange and the red so the clear one you're just gonna leave it like that all right, okay, so now the first thing that you wanna do, okay, so this is all the materials. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is figure out what size of uh, lights, you the, the size of the LED, uh, right, the LED lights, you need to decide what size you're going to use on your vehicle. So that's the first thing, right? In, in my case, uh, I'm using this size and I'm also using this size, which is very, very hard to see on camera, okay? But for that, I have this, okay? Let me show you in this card, which is going to make it much easier to see. Okay, so for my pickup truck, I'm using this, uh, this size. One of them is called Nano right there you can see nano size okay this is one of them okay because these are the sizes of the uh the leds so i'm using nano size and this one i'm also using this size which is the five millimeter okay the five millimeter uh led okay this one comes with the vehicle um normally all the wpl uh pickup trucks uh the c24 dash one included uh all of them come with this uh size five millimeter 
Okay, so if you want to get a smaller size of uh, LED, you have to purchase it separately. So that's the first thing you want to figure out. Okay, what size of uh, LED you want for your pickup truck? And that's important because um, I'm going to leave this card just uh, as I'm talking. I'm going to leave it here so you can get a reference, right, of the size of a LED. Okay, and also you can check the website here if you want to check it out. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, figure out, okay, what size of uh, LED you want to use. And that's important because when you, um, you're you going to paint the, the cover, right, the cover of the, of the, the, the lights, this cover. Okay, let me try to zoom in because my phone keeps getting blurry. Okay, so... Uh, the reason you want to pick the size figure out what size of led is because before you um because you want to know how how much the led uh how much space does it take so like for example let, let's um let, let, let me show you see this led it takes about this much of space okay so that's why you need to have the led first so you can see okay how much space do i need to paint you know, do I need to paint uh, this much or that much? So since my my LED for my truck, it's uh, the five millimeter. This is the five millimeter and it takes this much space. So that's why I painted this amount of red in the middle because it takes that much space. Now for the for the other light, the, the turn signal, see this one, it takes this much space. See, that's why I painted uh, the orange color is much smaller. The area of the orange color is much smaller than the red one because um, the LED is a small size. So right there. So that's the reason you want to, you know, measure it with the um, uh, with the LED, with, with the LED. You want to figure out, okay, how much space is, is the LED going to take before you, you actually paint it. Um, and also mark it, right? Mark, you know, make any marks with a pencil or a pen so you can know, okay, where are you going to be dividing uh, so you can paint the separate uh, pieces, okay? So that's the thing, okay? Figure out how big you're going to paint the area based on the size of the LED, okay? So that's number one. Um, after you uh, figure out, okay, um, how, how much you're going to be painting one color and how much you're going to be painting the other color then what you do it's um you you put it right you know in uh you put it in a in in, in any, any piece of uh, paper right okay you put it in any piece of paper and you start doing this that's why you're going to need this piece of cardboard because um let me show you here Okay, and I'm going to focus again. Right, I'll try to focus and get you a clear image. Okay, so uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, all right, and right there. Okay, so not too much right there. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to actually scratch the a straight line because that's what i did here i uh, i i after i marked it right after um i marked uh how much did i need it how much space that i needed um then that's when i scratch a straight line so basically with the sharpie be careful you're going to start making a line like this making a line scratching it try to make it straight right D don't make it all crooked Okay, and start scratching it. Scratch it, scratch it, and then do the same thing for here. Scratch it, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do it here, but, uh, you know, so the video is not too long. So, but that's the idea. Start scratching it, right? And, you know, that's why I put it on the table, okay? And start scratching it, making a line, okay? Making a, uh, a straight line. Because what this is going to do is going to make like a little channel, a little gap is going to create by you scratching it right here straight. You, you do not need it to do it on the side, only in the middle. So start scratching it, right? Not too deep because you also don't want to make the, the, the lens uh, weak. 
So just scratch it, make a line, and do the same here. So that's going to create a channel, a gap. And when you come with the with the paint, right? Okay, let me get the uh, this. Okay, so when you come with the with the paint, it's going to be easier. So imagine this is the orange color. So you start painting it, right? And the paint is going to normally try to run out, run down to the to this side, right? So that's why you need that little gap, that, that channel. So that way the paint drips if it drips, right? Of course, try not to drip it. But when you paint it, the little amount, if it starts to drip, is going to go into that little gap, that little channel that you made when you scratch it. And then let it dry, right? Make sure it's, it's, it's dry completely. And then, right? Okay, this is, this is the orange. Okay, so after this one is dry, okay, I, for me, I waited till the next day. I made sure this was really dry. So the next day, I got the red, the red paint, and I started painting the uh, the red color. Okay, I painted the red, and the same thing, the paint went into the little channel, and that way the paint stays there and doesn't drip to the other side. Okay, so after that you painted the red, again, leave it 24 hours, let it dry completely, okay, and also, uh, when you're painting this, um, you know, first do a light coat, okay? Do it lightly, let it dry like about, uh, I'll say 10 minutes, then second coat. And if you want it a little bit darker, okay, add a third coat, no more than three coats because that's how much I did right here. It was no more than three coats. So same for the red and the orange. Um, so after this is dry, then, you're going to need uh, this piece of cardboard, okay? And the reason is because, see right here on this side, right there, there's uh, this uh, this pointy little uh, clips. I don't know if that's the right name of, the, of them, clips, but you see these little pointy things, right? That goes into the pickup truck, right? So those things, you do, you do not wanna break them. And that's where the cardboard comes in handy because what you're gonna do is, you push through it just like this, okay, right there. And, you know, just make sure that the cardboard is uh, is thick enough, right? Doesn't have to be so thick, but see, that way it doesn't come out through the other side. So, because now that you have it like this on the piece of cardboard, that's when you're going to use the ruler, okay? And you're going to paint, you're going to, uh, with the Sharpie, you're going to paint between, let me get the Sharpie ready. Okay, so with the uh, with the Sharpie, you're going to paint between the two colors. Because see, um, if you do not paint the, uh, if you do not paint that line, then if you get really close, like maybe right here, let me show you. Okay, see right here, you, you can see the, the red color drip a little bit to the white. Okay, so that's the reason um, you need a Sharpie to paint between the two lines, between the two colors. That way you don't see the this drip and it's going to look much cleaner. So you put it here, okay, right on the cardboard. And then let me, let me zoom in again because it keeps getting blurry, you know. All right, and this is where you use the ruler, okay, just like this. Okay, and let me zoom in. Okay, that way you can get a, a good view. Okay, you get the ruler. Okay, and that's when you you start with the Sharpie, permanent, you know, this is a permanent marker. Okay, right there. And uh, you start tracing it. You start tracing between the two colors. Okay. You start doing that, okay? And you do the same thing for the other one. Okay, let me try to do it here. And, okay, let's try it again. Okay. Um, yeah, my phone for some reason has a hard time uh, focusing. And that's why um, sometimes, you know, when I make videos, uh, they take long because I got to keep recording, uh, look at the footage and then the footage is not so good and I got to record again. 
so and it's because um, it's not a good quality phone so you know maybe one day I get a really good camera and you know I don't have to deal with this okay all right so let's continue so right there I put the 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 ruler okay and uh, I'm gonna try to put it right between the white and the the red okay because the idea is to cover to cover the 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 red paint that that drip into the white okay so very carefully straight all right and there you go okay let me show you right there see there you go and then i just remove from here make sure you don't you don't touch you know don't touch the uh the the part that you already painted and then carefully uh carefully i start painting this okay all right right now um it's a little bit tricky because i have the phone in front of me but you know try to do the best that you can you know take your time and you know like i said i'm just painting between the two colors okay just between the two colors all right and you can still see a gap right there okay but that's an easy fix because all i have to do is just pretty much go over it okay go over it make the line thicker all right and right there okay i know this is uh is much thicker than the the first one but that's because right now i'm pretty much uh doing it fast um but you know um take your time and this is how that way it's a uh, it's a skinnier i mean it's all it's all depends on on your taste you know how thick you want the uh the the line to be but that's how you do it okay all right you paint the uh a line between the two colors and then it's going to look nice at the very end okay all right i know this one didn't came out that good but uh but you get the idea that's how you do it and um very easy okay very easy let it dry okay and you can always you know uh go back and like right here i could still paint more black you know you can still go back if uh, to to make those uh fine touch-ups okay all right but that's how i did it okay all right so that's pretty much it and um let's see uh, i think i didn't forget anything um so all right so um that's uh that's pretty much it how i did it and i also want to thank my subscriber brian knapp for asking a question and writing it on the comment section and inspiring me to do this video. So thank you again, Brian Knapp, and I'll write the information in the comment section if you wanna check uh, his channel. Um, all right, so thank you again, everybody, for watching this video. And uh, hit that like button if you like this type of videos. And consider subscribing. Support my channel. Um, making these videos is not that easy. Uh, it takes time. And, um, you know, this is not my full-time job. You know, I, I wish, right, I could, you know, this could be my full-time job and, you know, make a living out of this. But, uh, unfortunately, I have to work, you know, go out there and, you know, work. And only on my you know little free time that i have that's when um i can make this video so it's uh it's not that easy so help me support this channel and uh, help me to grow this channel by subscribing and hitting that like button so thank you again for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one